the RXV, there are two controllers that have been put in these golf carts to this day still. One was the early year RXVs, that was the Danaher system, and now you have what is the Curtis model in all of your golf carts to this point. Um, so this is what your Danaher is going to look like. It's going to look super weird and it's like a charcoal gray or a little lighter gray in color. What's up golf car fam? Got a whole nother RXV problem card in here. Um, we went through with the customer for several months because it had an intermittent running problem. You could get on it, turn the key switch on to, to either the reverse or the forward position, put your foot on the pedal, it didn't do a thing. Uh, you can cut the key switch off, come over here and turn the tow run switch off, then back on, cut the key on, then the golf cart run fine. Uh, we spent so much time trying to figure out what was going on and uh, boiled down to what we determined to be the controller. Um, so, with the RXV, there are two controllers that have been put in these golf carts to this day still. One was the early year RXVs, that was the Danaher system, and now you have what is the Curtis model in all of your golf carts to this point. Um, so this is what your Danaher is going to look like. It's going to look super weird and it's like a charcoal gray or a little lighter gray in color. This tag over here is pretty much hidden under this body side, so it's hard to see what you have. A really good key is the Danaher. It's going to have this module right here with these wires off of it. The Curtis model does not have that, so that's one of the changes that was made. Um, this customer just got tired of dealing with it, so we decided that, um, well, they decided they were going to go with a Navitas controller. And we just got this installed uh, yesterday or day before. And this is your Danaher compatible Navitas system. Um, it's really great. We've done several swap overs for, you know, customers with the older model RXV. And um, yeah, so far it's been acting properly. I haven't had any intermittent issues. It's taken off every single time. And um, now we're just going to finish putting it back together and give it another day of riding and, and make sure that it don't show its ugly head again. And if it does, I've got the Navitas to tell me what's wrong in my app on my phone. Um, if you can't afford to do the Navitas, because unfortunately they are a little expensive, but it is well worth that money. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> you could possibly find a, a easy go dealer that may have the code scanner for the Danaher. Um, and it's pretty simple to do if you can afford to buy the Danaher scanner. All you do is plug it into the plug that's under the dash. Pull out your little plug key. It's like a jumper for it. Plug it in, plug in the scanner to the bottom. Cut the card on. Put your tow run switch and run. And it will come on and it will start to do the diagnostic mode. And uh, would help you determine what kind of problem you were having. So... Uh, but if you go to Navitas, Navitas has that built into it already, and you get to see it on your cell phone app through Navitas. kind of cuts out having to spend all that money, other than the one-time price for the controller. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow our customer will be another happy camper. 2008. 92408 is the model of this golf cart. So it's definitely within the realm of the Danaher. 9, 10, and some of the 11s, I believe, had the Danaher system in it. And then in like 2010 and a half or 2011 and a half, somewhere along that line, they put the Curtis controller in it, which really did take care of, of all the problems that the, the Danaher controller would have. Uh, but they still do have their common failures like your brakes, um, you know, battery voltage obviously is a big key to this, solenoids, and uh, all that good stuff. So, um, the Curtis is uh, a very good controller that the, the RXV went to, and uh, but Navitas has them all beat. They're so good. Just, just for the fact that you can put an app on your cell phone and watch your golf cart perform while you're riding it, to me, is, is a huge deal because uh, you could almost intercept the problem before it actually 
takes place because of the app. The app will see the controller and the app work together, and they'll it'll see what's going on, and you can almost oh, got a bad solenoid, you know. Boom, there it is, it's over with. So your app's gonna look like that right there. So once you open it up, this is gonna be where it recognizes what controller you have. Let me power the system up and I'll show you. So right here, the controller model showed, showed up, so I can just tap that, maybe. Come on. There we go. Reconnect, yes. But I gotta have the key switch. Sorry, mouse. Yep. So there it's connected to the controller. It can tell me how fast the motor RPM is gonna be. And then it'll tell you what position you're in. It tells you it's waiting for the foot switch to be activated. And then of course you can go into your diagnostic mode and see everything that's going on, including your foot switch, your throttle voltage. Uh, it tells you if your key is on or off, what if it's in tow or run mode. I mean, it's so much that, that you can see, and when I say so much, there's even more right here is your uh, on-the-fly stuff, which is the, the dials that you can turn while you're riding to make it faster or slower or more torque or less torque or whatever. And then it tells you about your speed sensor right here as well. That's a really, that's a game changer for us because that's one of the hardest things to determine on the RXV is if it really is the speed sensor or not, and it's inside the motor, so it's a good thing to have that type of um, uh, setting to know, okay, the speed sensor is actually bad because it's not reading the proper output or the proper input, whichever. And then, uh, say I just cut that off, and so the uh, Bluetooth disconnected when I cut the key switch off right there. It's automatic, it's gonna do it every time. Uh, but then, if you see, let me put it in demo mode real quick. And so once you get to settings, you can actually change the size of your tires. You can see what the reverse speed limit is, and you can change all these settings too to make it, you know, faster, make it have more torque. Just right here on your phone, you don't have to have the on the fly per se. Just on the fly is a little more convenient. You don't have to rip out your cell phone and change, and then go through all the stuff. But I mean, it, it's a it's an absolute game changer for the golf cart world and the electronics and what makes them operate. And plus, I feel like they make them super fast. Because this golf cart seems like it's faster to me now that it's got that Navitas in it. So um, it is very possible to have it changed because, like, the Danaher Ute needs to be able to see all these sensors work before the golf cart will actually move. Well, some of it doesn't have to actually go through the Navitas. It doesn't have to see that the brake switch is here uh, and active. It doesn't have to see the throttle sensor or the... the uh, throttle being activated all it needs is to see how much throttle you're giving it i mean that's that in itself right there is doing away with a whole lot of issues that the danaher has too so so this is your uh on the fly mounts on the dash of the cart or wherever is convenient for you to be able to reach down and grab but you can turn these knobs and they'll speed up the golf cart and uh, this is your regenerated braking you can turn it all the way up it'll break like nobody's business turn it all the way off then you can give the cart a little more acceleration, uh, you know, full on acceleration. And this is this is simply by uh, while you're you, you ride, you stop, you change it, cut the key off, cut it back on. It changes it in the controller, um, and then you go on again. Uh, but this this capability is also linked in with your cell phone too, with the app on your cell phone. So you can do everything that you do with this in the app of the cell phone too. It just takes a little bit more time, not much time not stupid time anyway but um you know you can get it both ways however you want to do it if you want to do the on the fly it's available to do so if not you can work it through the app appreciate y'all watching guys hopefully this video is a little helpful to somebody out there and uh don't forget to like comment subscribe um 
got any questions please please comment we will we will absolutely do our best to answer you the best we can and uh let us know how you like those rxvs out there y'all have a blessed day guys